Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a very exciting video. It's my first Vlogmas video of the year. So I'm going to be trying to post, trying, because I've never done Vlogmas before. So I'm going to try my best to post every two days. I think that's what it is. So like today, not tomorrow, but then the next day. Um, I'm going to try my best to do that. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone enjoys Vlogmas this year. I'm so freaking excited. It's going to be the 1st of December tomorrow, so I'm going to post this tomorrow. But for today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me while I tell you everything on my Christmas wish list this year. I feel like I did a similar video to this the other week, like telling us what you could put on your Christmas list. But this is what I've put on my Christmas list, and I'm absolutely loving my Christmas list this year. So yeah, let's go on with the video. The first thing that is on my Christmas list this year is actually a Hollywood mirror and this is literally going to be like my main present I'd say because like it's expensive but fingers fingers crossed I'm actually quickly going to put some clips in my hair just to get it out of my face but fingers crossed um, I get it early because I've actually already ordered it and it's on its way and I asked my mom if I could have it early because the one that I've got now is just really not very good lighting especially for filming TikToks and stuff and getting ready so hopefully my mom will just say I could have it for an early Christmas present anyways I actually got this from a TikTok shop and like, I'm gonna tell you this everywhere I got it from and like around the prices fingers crossed because i feel like this could help like a lot of people if they were still struggling and they need to know the prices so um this hollywood mirror there's definitely some more affordable ones but the ones that um the one that i bought was about 80 pound i'm pretty sure um because i did order one which was 60 pound off tiktok shop but it did not come and i was fuming so i literally had to reorder a new one which costed 20 pound more when i could have literally got one for 60 pound but yeah so there definitely is some cheap alternatives i know that there is some on amazon at the minute at the minute at the minute which are very cheap like there's about a 60 pound one which is still a bit pricey but for a hollywood mirror i think that is a really good price um i'm actually gonna mix two concealers together because i've been loving the she glam concealer this is more of like a natural one this is more of a full coverage so i'm gonna mix two together um anyways so that is gonna be like my main present and that i got that off tiktok shop if anyone was wondering so the next thing i've actually asked for is a white fox tracksuit and i say a i've asked for about three or four of these because i am obsessed with them um so oh my nose is well ready <laughs> um so the first one that i've asked for is the off stage one which i feel like is the most viral one and it's like a beige stony color and it says white fox on the back and then white fox here on the front and it's in a white color it's absolutely stunning and fingers crossed i get that because I literally am obsessed with it. I literally want all the white fox tra white fox tracksuits in the world because they're literally just amazing. Like, and they're just gorgeous. So, yeah, I've ordered that way. Well, I haven't ordered, but I've asked for that one. And then I've actually ordered the blue Comfort Club one. I've ordered half of it with my own money. So I ordered the joggers with my own money, and then the jumper is ordered for Christmas. Um, I had to get the jumper in a medium, a large though, because it was sold out in every other size and I just really wanted to order it. So it might come really big, but that's okay because an oversized hoodie is, mm, it's fine, you know? Um, look how like just brightening that concealer is. It's beautiful under the eyes, obsessed. Anyway, so that is like the next White Fox tracksuit I asked for. And then the next one I'm asking for is, is the, I think it's the gray one and it's the leisure one and it has it's like light gray and then it's got um what does it have on it it's got a dark gray writing on it that says like leisure white fox and stuff and i absolutely love that one i need a white i need a light gray tracksuit because i do have a light gray tracksuit but it doesn't match exactly and it's just it's not the best quality so i've asked for that one as well um i think that's all the ones that i've asked for but 
yeah i'm hoping to get a lot more white fox tracksuits in the future i'm just using the she glam bronzer in the shade terracotta this is such a good bronzer as well and if anyone's wondering what concealer i used i used the number 17 enhancing concealer and the she glam concealer um yeah i'm just gonna take a brush and just blend this in um so yeah they are the white fox tracksuits i've asked for this year um and then the next thing that i asked for is what else have i asked for i'm just thinking off the top of my head to be honest um a fox leather jacket um i've literally wanted these since they started going viral on tiktok like they're absolutely gorgeous i literally love them so much and i feel like they just match so many different outfits but white le fox leather jackets can be so expensive so I, I feel like i just wouldn't spend that money on myself so getting it for christmas i feel like it's such a better idea um instead of splashing the cash on myself because i feel like i would actually regret it so much after just because of how expensive they are um but i haven't asked for the zara one i would love to own the zara one um but I've asked for one that's really similar off TikTok shop because um, I feel like they look really similar. It's not, it's like a quarter of the, a quarter of the price. It's, so the Zara one's 60, I'm pretty sure, and the one I've asked for is 45, I think. Um, so it is a little bit cheaper, um, but yeah. So I've asked for a fox leather jacket because I think it goes with so many different outfits and it's just a perfect staple in your wardrobe. Um, that I need so I've asked for that I'm just gonna take the very beauty blush in the shade happy this is literally the most viral shade I'm pretty sure but I'm just gonna take some from the stick and just dab that all over my face like so um but I've asked for quite a few makeup bits a lot of it is from made by Mitchell because his makeup looks so good like I don't own anything by made by Mitchell but I've wanted to for the longest time like when his blush has started going viral I really wanted a blush and um, I wanted to try the bronzer blush but now he's came out of the curve case and I want to try that so bad so I've asked my boyfriend for that um because we're gonna spend like a certain amount of money on each other i've done like a set budget and we'll spend that on each other about the same so then i asked for the made by mitchell curve case in the light i feel like that looks like the nicest one um so i've asked for that he's also came out with a lot of new skincare so i've asked for the eye cream and the toner because i wanted the bioma toner mist but then i seen that made by mitchell had his own and i was like oh i need to try this this looks so good so i was like yes i'm gonna ask for that um and then as well as the eye cream because i don't have an eye cream at the minute i thought ask for an eye cream just like dress up skincare a bit so i've asked for the eye cream and the made by mitchell toner and um, which i hope that i get because it literally looks so fun look at this spot on my cheek it's so like so swollen because i just picked and prodded at it but we're just gonna we're gonna move anyways i'm just putting some revolution bronzer in the shade mega bronze zero two warm um so i'm just using this i'm just literally putting it all over my face to bronze it up a little bit um so that is what i've asked for and then i've also asked for like i've done like a sephora order that i literally have wanted some stuff for the longest time so i want to try the refi liquid highlighter so bad hold on i need to crack my back Ah, that really hurt anyways so i've asked for the refi liquid highlighter because i've literally seen so many people use that and they say that it's such a good liquid highlighter i was looking for a liquid highlighter because i've been loving the glowy makeup at the minute and i don't actually have like a liquid highlighter so i thought that would be perfect to ask for so i've asked for the refi one now i've also asked for the refi lip liner in the shade rosewood the amount of people that i've seen using the refi lip liner with the seal on the other end um in the shade rosewood is unbelievable so i really want to try that out because if you know i can't go a day without lining un without lining my lips so i thought that would be such a good thing to ask for um another thing i asked for was this ordinary set that comes on my tiktok so i did a tiktok the other day saying or oh, like basically like this but just such a short a short version and i basically said how i asked for the 
um, the order and I was certain it had the salicylic acid, the hyaluronic and the niacinamide. I was actually wrong, it has a caffeine one in instead of the um, salicylic. So as the caffeine has the hyaluronic and it has the niacinamide and it's literally like £11 or something which I think is an absolute bargain. Like, yes, please. Um, so I've asked for that. Um, because I absolutely love The Ordinary. Like, I feel like it's such a good brand for the price as well. It is literally unbelievable. I'm just using the Rare Beauty um, setting powder in the shade Light um, just to set my under eyes because I'm going to cover some spots now because look at this. It's so, like, sore. Ow. So, I've asked for that in the shade Rosewood. And then I've asked for the Glow Recipe Toner in the shade, in the shade, in the small version because I wanted the big version but I, I don't want to push the limit, you know what I mean, like, yeah, so I just thought I'll ask for the small version because I don't actually know if it'll end up breaking my skin out or not and I don't want to splash the cash on something that'll break my skin out so I thought I'd get the small version so then if it doesn't break my skin out then at least I've not wasted 31 pounds on a toner that doesn't even work for my skin um but i love glow recipe and i really want to try some more of their products so i feel the glow recipe toner i feel like that might be all the makeup bits i've used um so then i've asked for i've just done like a massive sheen order because i usually do this i need some more bits like just some more like practical bits to go with outfits and like basic tops and basic bottoms and um, so I've asked for a lot of just basic tops and stuff off sheen because one it's cheaper so I can get more out of them two I don't really know I just I just if I ever need like something that I don't have a lot of money left to spend I literally just go on sheen because as much as people might think it's such a bad website like it's not good quality like a lot of the stuff is good quality so i don't mind going on sheen and just getting something off there if i need it so i've asked for like a sheen order that i've got some basic tops in body suits cargoes i actually found some Strat stradivarius cargo dupes from sheen that look amazing so i've put them in my basket because i was gonna ask for the normal ones but like from stradivarius but i was like four quid on two bed cargoes which isn't too bad but I thought it's literally going to take up so much of like my Christmas budget so I was like you know what I'll ask for the ones I've seen say how the good the quality are if the quality is bad I can send them back and get good ones you know but it's only cargoes at the end of the day like it shouldn't be terrible quality um yeah anyway so I asked for a sheen order and in that sheen order I also have um what else do I have in it I have a new light for filming and I've wanted a new light for such a long time because the one that i've got right now it dies really quickly it's literally from poundland i was in such a rush to get one because i started social media so quickly so i thought i just need to get one asap so i just bought this one it's like four pounds something um and it's not the best quality so i've asked for a bigger one that you can plug in change the light settings on um and it'll be perfect for youtube and just filming in general um so I've also asked for that um, because that'll just be perfect for me filming. I've just used the Morphe highlighter in the shade, I don't even know what that says, Desi Danger maybe? Um, it's just like this pinky highlighter but it's it's gorgeous on the skin so let's use that. I've also asked for a regular tripod for filming because my one is currently broken. Like I bought, I bought this plastic one and don't get us wrong it was quite cheap. But to be fair, I feel like even it shouldn't have broken as easily as what it did. So when it did break, I was a bit good. But now the legs don't work on it. So I have to now stand it in this other thing. But it's a tripod, so it shouldn't have to stand in something else to work. It should use itself to stand. So I've asked for this new tripod without plastic legs. And it's got like... How do I explain it? It's got like bendable legs instead, which I feel like it's gonna be 
a lot more useful, handy, and just a lot more stable, to be honest, for filming. So I thought, I'll ask for one of those. Um, yeah, again, that's literally off sheen because it doesn't have to be expensive. Like, I feel like a lot of people these days think that, oh, everything you get has to be branded, has to be expensive. Um, you have to get all expensive branded things. It, it doesn't have to be like that. Like, as much as I have asked for a few branded things, I know a lot of people do struggle with money and there's so much pressure on people these days to buy branded things and I just think that's just like, it shouldn't be like that because where is my, I've lost my mascara, oh yeah, I just think like it shouldn't have to be like that because not everyone can afford it and it's just not fair on people who can't afford it so if you're struggling with money and you think oh all you need to do is get branded things, expensive things, you don't have to get expensive things. You can literally buy the cheapest things and literally look just as good as people who buy branded things. So just keep that in mind. Also, if you wonder what this is on my arm, I actually had art today in school, so I've got pain all over my arm. <laughs> Anyways, um, I feel like that might be everything, to be honest. I'm not 110% sure at all. Like, look at that. I love this Clinique. I think that's what it is, yeah. Clinique Mascara. I've got the mini one, I'm pretty sure. And it literally, just look how it made my bottom lashes. Obsessed. Amazing. Absolutely in love. Um, I think that is honestly everything I've asked for. Uh, hmm. Apart from like, oh, how could I forget the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray in the 200 milliliter one because I could you not, I can't live without Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Like it literally, I, I bought it for the first time when I went to Florida, when I went to Sephora for the first time, I felt well bougie. I bought it, it was like, I don't even know how much it was, but it was in dollars, not like English money. So I'm not sure. I'm just using a plump and lip gloss and it's on my tongue. So my tongue is like going crazy. Um. Anyways, so I bought it and it literally, it's literally such a lifesaver for makeup and I don't know what I would do if I would at this point, like, it just helps my makeup stay in place all day. Love it so much. Um, anyways, I'm gonna brush my hair out. Um, I want a little bit of dry shampoo in it because it's looking pretty, pretty dead, not much volume. I use this um, one from Go, I think it's got argan oil in and it's for brown hair specifically, so that's perfect. Um, but yeah, that is everything that I've asked for for Christmas this year. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Have you enjoyed making my first Vlogmas video of 2023? Or just in general, to be honest, I've never done Vlogmas before because I only just started YouTube recently. So I would love if you could like and subscribe and comment on this video. It would help so much and I appreciate everyone who does that. But yeah, if you haven't followed my TikTok and my Instagram, go follow them now because there'll be a lot of content and good things coming up in December that you just won't want to miss out on. And be ready for Vlogmas because it's going to be amazing. I'm going to try my best to post every two days because YouTube is a lot of work, but as much as I love it, it takes, I edit my own videos, so it takes a lot of time and effort. But yeah, keep an eye out for my videos and subscribe so you get notified when I, if, whenever I post a new one. Hope everyone had an amazing day and happy 1st of December, everyone. I love you all so much.